Hey all, it's Arrow Dragon. I finally got myself my own recording equipment, so it's time to start doing Let's Plays. And I'm starting with a Let's Play of Mega Man X3. Now for the intro of Mega Man X3. In the year 21XXAD, all of the Mavericks have been neutralized thanks to the efforts by a Reploid scientist named Dr. Doppler. Using his neural computer, he has been able to suppress any abnormal behavior in the Reploids and has prevent them from going berserk. Nice. That's a nice accomplishment. Many of the most advanced Reploids have gathered near their new mentor and have founded Doppler Town, a perfect utopian community. Why is it Doppler Town, not Doppler Town? That just struck me as odd. With Dr. Doppler guiding them, the world seemed ready to enter a new golden age! After a few months... Dot, dot, dot. <coughs> the Mavericks who were supposed to have been neutralized by the neural computer suddenly appeared and began to riot! At Maverick Hunter Headquarters, all the intelligence indicated that Dr. Doppler was the mastermind behind the invasion. <gasps> Soon, the call went out to X and Zero to destroy the invading Mavericks and to bring Dr. Doppler to justice! Maverick Hunters X and Zero, dispatch! Really? You only need Zero. You should have X stay behind, you know, in case something, I don't know, attacks? A few hours later, emergency contact was made by the headquarters of Maverick Hunter. See? You should have had X stay behind and just send Zero. Zero can handle this all by himself. At least I think so. This is the headquarters of Maverick Hunter. That's our organization name. We are under attack from the Doppler Force. All units return to base immediately and return fire. Alex and Zero can teleport, so that's hardly an issue. And that's the plot of Mega Man X3. Now for this really cool looking tile screen. Mega Man X3. Let's go. Okay, we got a little bit of an intro cutscene. After the intro cutscene, these giant hornet bots are raining down bullets and being hit by bullets and being shot down. Now check this out. X jumps on, starts shooting like a madman, and Zero helps out by slashing him once. Those two really are an unstoppable duo, aren't they? X, I'll clear out the enemies out here. You go ahead and deal with the ones inside. You got it, Zero. Ready, I sure am. Okay, now X3 follows the formula of X1 and 2. Like X2, you got the dash in the get-go, you can charge your shots. I got hit already. Oh, the Let's Play curse doesn't affect me that much. What am I saying? It's going to affect me greatly. Ah, oh, I got hit again. And I got rewarded for it. Okay. Okay, now, I'm hoping the Let's Play curse doesn't affect me too much, because this game can get, I want to say, pretty hard, but I know this game really well. Hang on. Mac, where have you been? Well, that was a cheap shot. You're far too trusting, X. I'm now a member of Doppler's army. You will make a fine addition to our forces once you have been shown the true destiny of the Reploid race. <laughs> and there goes X. Now, the obvious joke to make is goodbye, everyone. This has been Mega Man X3, but you know what happens. Wait for it. And zero. 
and Zero is quite a bit different from X in this game. Well, not too different. He still has his Buster, but you charge it to a full. And full, you can actually use his Z Saber, which one shots most, if not all, enemies. I actually don't think it can't one shot anything. And also, Zero starts off with full health immediately, and I'm pretty sure his dash is longer. Not too sure about that. I think the same function. I can never get through this area without taking a hit, admittedly. Okay, now what you want to do is ready your Z Saber. That means charging it to your fourth level and shooting twice. You want to do that for one reason, and we'll begin to that one reason. I can't get through here without taking a hit. Why is that? Okay, now over the mini boss. This is Mac. Where's Mac? Yep, there he is. This is Mac dead. That's all it takes. A Z Saber and then a, then a pellet shot, and. Shoot X. <clears throat> shoot X to bring it. <laughs> Are you okay, X? Thanks, Zero. I'm okay. I'll check around headquarters again. Be on your guard, X. Okay, moving out. Yeah, it's actually a really, really short intro stage compared to X1 and X2. Granted, they weren't very long either, but still, there's not much of a stage here. Alright, boss time! And also, this thing pretty much follows the tradition of every intro boss ever in the X series. It's huge! It's a wimp. Watch. Watch what I'm doing. I'm just standing here. And look how much look this. Look how huge it is. It did one point of damage. Again, did one point. Still only doing one point. I am just standing here, jumping into its face, and shooting it. That's it! It doesn't even put up a fight. I'd hardly call that fair. But alas, you defeat it. And then the intro stage, and it still sees silhouettes of its arms and eyes for whatever reason. Looks like we swept out most of the enemies. Out of here. I'll go back and check on headquarters. Call me if you need me. <clears throat> See you later, X. Yes, in this game, you can actually switch between X and Zero at will. But there are some restrictions. You can only do it once in, once in a stage, once in a stage, and if Zero dies, you can't use him again. So, use him wisely. I actually don't want to find myself using him too much, because he's just very similar to X in this game. Okay, now we got to the Mavericks, and in my opinion, this game has the best and overall, most well-rounded group of Mavericks in the series. There's not one I can consider bad. And there's always a good starting point in the next game, and this is the X3s. Lose a buffalo. Sorry, I just have to do that. As you expect, it's an ice level. How predictable. But don't worry, the ice physics, even though there are some, are not frustrating. They're easy to adapt to, unlike the enemies. And they're actually put to good use in this level. See? You go into a wall, not directly into the spice. Okay, dash up here. And I want to take the upper path here for two reasons. Well, actually, one reason. Health! Now, dash. Now, you gotta be careful, otherwise, we're gonna hit here. How much to do that? Yeah, this physics actually make the stage pretty fun. I like Blizzard Buffalo. I think he's a good Maverick. And also, interesting. Okay, before I go into that interesting piece of trivia, this room is empty. We'll get into the importance of this room in a later point. There's one of these in every stage, and unlike X2, you always run into them. You'll see why in a little bit. Now, as I was saying, interesting piece of trivia about Blizzard Buffalo. He's infected by a Maverick virus, yes, but he's harmless. He's still the, he's still the ice sculptor he was when he was programmed. So, for all intents and purposes, he's just a, he's just a victim. Kinda of makes me feel bad for killing him. Also, stop here on the ladder, otherwise you get hit. Believe me, I know. Okay, going up here. Now, I recommend switching to zero for this part. Just go to the start menu, hit R, and then start. And look at that, you can switch to zero. And there are two reasons I recommend using zero in this area. First off, he's at full health, and this <clears throat> this area is completely overrun with enemies, and they're all, all pretty tough. But zero is zero, and he's awesome. By the way, the weather here doesn't really do anything. And the second reason I recommend using zero, that jump is a lot easier to make, and now I want to switch back to X, because there's a goodie only X can grab. So you guess what it is? Calling all bets? You're too late. It's a Dr. Light capsule. Enter this capsule, X. Take this leg upgrade. This upgrade will enhance your mobility in the air. 
you'll be able to dash left, right, or even straight up into the air. Yep, just like an X2, you can now air dash, only it's a little better. Not only can you dash horizontally, you can also dash straight up, and that is freaking awesome. But I want you to know something, you dash to the right, but notice how the up dash has a delay to it. That makes it a little less than practical in combat, but it still has its uses. Okay. Now, you want to backtrack to the beginning of this area. Excuse me, sir! Okay, I'm gonna go grab the health down here, because I can air dash now. You can do right to get that without an air dash, but I want to play it safe. Now, I want to ride the wind up, up. Now, be, care be very careful, because, this, again, this area is overrun with enemies. It's not even funny, and the ice is to make him a bit of a pain to avoid. So, you jump, air dash up, and sub tank! Now, for those of you who don't know who have played the X Games, first off, I, first off, I'm a sh first off, I feel sorry for you. Sub tanks are basically E tanks, but with but with, with a twist. Instead of using them and they just refill you to full health, they store energy you grab from extra energy capsules. So they're actually pretty darn essential. And also, you can use them as many times as you want. So yeah, there are four of them in this game, and I'll be sure to find them all. Okay, now you might be thinking I'm doomed because I'm so lo low on health, but no. Blizzard Buffalo is really easy. That's another reason I recommend coming here first, because that's a leg upgrade. Okay, now watch how I fight him. They don't get a resolve with their shots, I shoot him once, and then get away. As long as you keep your distance, you're actually pretty safe in this fight. Yeah, you have to, you have to make sure you measure your shots and don't get overzealous. Oh. I should have gotten hit there, I'll, I'll be honest. Wow! That was Awful. But that's how it goes. Let's play curse. You, you're great. You're awesome at a game. You think of the best. You hit record. You suddenly suck. Jagger Conroy can vouch for me. I know he can. All right. Liz Buffalo versus Mega Man X. Take two. Okay. Let's try this again. Don't overshoot. Don't overshoot. Don't overshoot. Shoot. I like the crescent moon in the background. It's a nice touch. Now listen for the audio cue. I listen for the first crystal shattering. That's a good audio cue. So when he's about to shoot ice crystals, which is evident because he stops short and has electricity pouring around his body, that's you just want to stick close to him at first so you can have your audio cue and then get your distance. But see, this is actually the whole fight. He dashes back and forth, occasionally stops to shoot ice crystals, and yeah, he's actually really easy. Of course, he has a desperation attack where he'll shoot a giant beam of ice, not an ice beam, when he's below half health, and it'll freeze you on contact, but you can break out of the ice pretty easily, so it's hardly a threat. Also, I have played the re-release of this game, and I don't know why they changed the audio, but oh well. I got through that without taking a single hit. How does that make you feel, Blizzard Buffalo? I know you're harmless, and I'm sorry, but it could have put up at least a bit more of a fight. Seriously. Dude, dude, yeah, you! Now this is a really cool weapon get screen. You got the wireframe, you got X alternate color schemes, really good graphics for the 16-bit era, and look at this. You defeat able to Buffalo and you get an ice weapon. Look at that. Take guess what it's called. It's called the Frost Shield. Does that look like a shield to you? Well, charge it's a shield, yes. But I don't get it either. But it's really powerful, really good weapon. And with that, I think we're gonna end it off here. I mean, we got through the intro, we got through the intro stage, through a Maverick stage. I think I'll end it off here. So, next time on Mega Man X3, I'll be going after the second Maverick. I always go after second. The third Maverick, I always go after third. And I hesitate to say the fourth Maverick, I go after fourth. We'll see. See you next time, guys. Take care.